Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So this one comes by way of Winter Blade Co. So this one comes from Brian. I'm finally checking out the uh, Mirage. So I have been trying to check one of these out since it came out, but um, it just took a while, I guess, to get me on the list or whatever. So, I'm finally checking it out. The pre-order is over. Something. I don't know what this is. Oh, some magnets. Looks like that's it. Alright, so here's some magnets. I'll put these up in the uh, giveaway bin. Excuse me. Well, I'll just put them here for now. All right, so we got one of these little fidget cases. And here it is. So, this is the Mirage. It's his follow-up to the Factor. Um, I really love the Factor. Great knife. I did end up selling mine. Uh, I had a buddy who just really wanted one, and I just wasn't carrying it. Um, I recently put out a post... Um, explaining why I sell things, even things I say are amazing. And it's just because I, it's just how it works. I always get new things. So I'm just kind of constantly rotating. My own knives barely get carried. Like it's just a process. I call it the circle of knife. Um, so that's what happened to the factor. I had it until a couple, like a month ago, which is pretty long. So, um, this guy uh, is touted as the first assisted magnetic knife or something, which I hear assisted and it just mm, does not sit well with me. It doesn't make me want to buy something. <laughs> so we're going to see if that even impacts anything. Um, it should have the same lock. I believe it has the same M lock or mag lock as um, the factor. It It's you know, the same sided, but he did not put a lefty clip on here. Um, he said it had something to do with the design. I don't really think, I don't really see why, but, um, yeah, the clip is pretty light on retention. I think it's just cause it's really thin right here. That's just weird, but it not light. Actually, it just bends easy. So it feels fine, actually. Cool design there. Uh, you do have a blade hole. Okay. So the detent is much lighter on this versus the uh, Factor. Um, the Factor had like a nice sticky, not sticky, but kind of, yeah, kind of sticky detent. Now you can obviously get used to this and just um, flick it. No problem. So, is it too light? I don't know. I mean, for me, yeah, sure, because I don't like lighter detents. But it's not like... It's not like killing the vibe for me, right? You can easily slow roll it out. Um, now, obviously, because of this assisted thing, you can't swing the blade closed. You can't just let it free ball, right? Um, it's loosey-goosey here. But it has repelling magnets down here, and that's what gives it the assist. So if I pull this lever, it'll pop the blade out, right? You see how it even shot it all the way out there? If I hold it straight up like this, it won't because it doesn't have gravity shooting it up, right? But anything close to, you know, vertical or down, it fires all the way out. It's not meant to, like shoot the knife out hardcore you know what i mean it's just meant to give it an assist so to speak uh it really doesn't affect the um release at all you know it's still can you throw it out yes i really whipped it there though you have to overcome a little bit so definitely not just gonna come out on you centering is good um that reverse flick is comfortable. I like that a lot, actually. Feels good. Um, and I'm getting used to, real quick, getting used to how to uh, close it. You just kind of swing it down. 
So I actually like this quite a bit more than I expected to. I kind of thought I was going to just not like it all that much because of the assisted thing. But it doesn't really mess with the knife too much. I mean, even just a little flick down and it's coming home. You know, it's got an interesting blade uh, situation here. I don't know. I guess that's how the stop pin. I don't know. It's interesting how that you see that. It's like a circular cutout. Oh, my God. And it rides through that. And then no way. And that gets brought up by the lock. Hold on. So you see that area right there where it's kind of like. You see it, obviously, what I'm talking about. And then there's a cut down there that looks the same. I think that's on the lock. Yeah. So when the lock comes up, does it, it slots into that? But no, there's that part right there again. So I don't know. It slides through it, I guess. Interesting. Very cool construction. Brian's always coming up with crazy shit, so... Makes sense. Um, yeah, this is way cooler than expected. Uh, let me actually put it in my hand, though. <laughs> uh, ergos are, okay, kind of factory in this factory. Kind of like the factor where it's, ergos are not the primary thought here. You know what I mean? The primary thought is getting the mechanism in there and having some kind of futuristic look to it. Um, it'll do the job, you know, um, if you're EDCing this, it'll cut your box, it'll, you know, do whatever, but it's not like something you'd want to hold in your hand all day. I'm getting, you know, a hot spot back here, um, feeling some other areas. Let me try it right-handed. Better right-handed for sure. Um, you do feel this corner right here, the clip, uh, a little bit of that bump there, but it's not bad. Um. It's just goofy when it, like, does that move. You got to just learn to give it that little extra. Now, you can also... Right? I'm using the lock there to just... So, you can do some fun stuff. I believe you're rocking M390. You got a full flat grind here. Feels relatively sharp. Pretty thick stock. Well, that's nah, pretty normal. It does not feel sharp, actually. Um, at, oh, maybe. <laughs> As I stab myself. Um, it's a little pokey. I just don't know if it's... Let me... Uh, this has probably been passed around. It's not a great... Yeah, it's... it's you know... It's been passed around. Probably needs a strop or an edge, but, you know. Uh, carbon fiber on the uh, pivot inlay. Really got that 3D carbon fiber going for that chitoyance or whatever you call it. Uh, but, yeah. So, this is cool. I will uh, do an overview or full review or whatever on it. Um, probably. Carry it a little bit. Hey, you can thumb flick it pretty good. I mean, I do wish it had stronger magnets. Um, yeah, it's definitely not the best lefty knife with the clip being on one side. But you can reverse flick it like a beast left-handed. So, no problems there. Um... But yeah, I think I'll carry it and do an overview, you know. Um, I have covered a lot here, and, you know, the pre-order's over. There's really no... Um, you're not going to get anything out of me, right? Like, you already know if you're going to get it or not. So, I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. Let me know if you want an overview on this, but by the time this comes out, I'll have already sent it back. So, um, yeah. Man, it's kind of addicting. It is kind of addicting to just chuck down. I don't know if I would get bored of that relatively quickly. 
Um, but this is fun. Like, it actually has a different feel to it than other knives, which is nice. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Um, I love you guys. Thank you to Brian. Appreciate you sending this my way, dude. I really do. Um, and congrats on the success. You're absolutely killing it. Um, love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.